What's up, boys? Today I'm going to be going to the salt pits and mining out the entire map again with the engineer construct version of the build. And I would like to get the plasma and mining overclocks on the gun platform. However, the gun platform has a ton of balanced overclocks at six total. So it's pretty unlikely that you'll be able to get a specific combo of two of them. So I'll go for either of them and then probably just take a random second one, most likely. So I'll most likely end up either as plasma or mining, but probably not both, even though that's the ultimate goal that I would like to hit. And then for the second weapon, I'm going to try and get the flamethrower, since that also has some nice mining stuff for it. And then even just one of those with some good reload speed and fire rate, well, I guess you can't actually get fire rate on the flamethrower turret as it's a beam weapon, but you get the idea. One of those will probably be enough to mine out most of the level at least, and then I'm looking for all of these scanners, Nitro Scanner, Gold Scanner, and XP Scanner. Trying to get as many of those as possible, so nothing good here. Shock Fence is okay. I'd really like to get the Flamethrower Turret here. Unfortunately, no dice, so probably just take the Viper Drone. That will get me the lasting tag to increase the duration of my gun platforms, at least. So I have a kind of ambitious build, but I'm at least shoring it up a little bit, since I would have to get pretty lucky in order to get the entire thing off. Let's see if we've got any scanners here. Nope. That's pretty good early on. I'll probably just take the crit here take the lifetime to boost up my turrets. Take the fire rate on the turrets. So the plasma is super good because you can go down a long narrow hallway like that and then if you deal damage to the terrain with the turret, the plasma will just bounce around all over the place mining everything out extremely quickly. So that's why I kind of want those two balanced overclocks together, but with six choices it's pretty unlikely. So for other artifacts, the fire rate one would actually be pretty good as well. I don't think I care about those, probably just this grab some crit pick. here. And then if I can't get the flame there at level 3 at least, I probably won't be able to get enough levels on it for it to really do much. But I think I still can if it's the third weapon. If I can get the fire rate artifact, that will actually improve the gun platforms a lot as well. Take all the levels it's for that fine. where I can. And we did get the plasma, so the dream is Ooh. still alive for now. But I'll have a 1 in 5, or actually a 2 in 5 chance to get the mining for the next one. So 40%. And I have a magnet in the Ooh. mid left if I can head back there towards the end. Probably gonna have to take a couple hits there to get out. Got another nice turret. One. My damage is going to be kind of bad right now. I kind of need to drop some rocks on them and stay close to terrain so that the plasma can bounce near them. Take the decent movement speed here. I can grab a little bit of healing on the way back. They are starting to get a bit low, so I might want to start heading towards the magnet. With the Praetorian being almost dead. Speed it up, miner. The bunks grow stronger. Guess I don't really need to collect that anyways. I'll just take the turret level here. See if I can get some bounces in to finish them off and then go for the magnet. Got some HP, would be okay, but I think I just want to get the overclocks as fast as possible here. I don't think I'm going to take a paint job because I'm going to have so many levels on that that's eventually going to be useless here. Shredder Swarm, eh. Would really rather have the flamethrower here if possible. 
There we go, the Krakatoa Sentinel. So I can also get terrain damage on that. Lifetime is great for both my turrets. Reload is fine on that. Reload is great on that. Reload or fire rate. I have a ton of reload, so this should be a bit better. And like I said, two out of five chance, so not that likely. But turrets following me is pretty good at least. There's a lot of guys here, so I'm not gonna hang around for too long. Try and clear out the entrance a little bit, set off some detonators from some XP, and then just head in before I take too much damage. So reload speed there, and I definitely want to push the level so I can look for the terrain destruction there. I will take some levels here. I rarely go for this one. That's okay. I don't really have that much gold to spend anyway, so I'm just gonna grab that. You have your objectives. Get it done, miner. I think the flamethrower turrets are strong enough that if I get some decent reload and lasting duration, they could this. still mine out most of the level for me. And then I have pretty strong plasma turrets which should keep most of the enemies off of me at least. So I can still do most of the build, it just won't be the absolute maximum 100% full potential here. gotta pump the reload speed and levels on the flame turret. Got damage, reload. I have a ton of reload so this is probably higher damage. Let me see exactly how much. So 135% reload and fire rate is actually the same, huh? I should probably try and get this real quick since I can get a scanner off of that and then mining stuff out will be a lot more efficient. Try and break some rocks while I hit that at the same time. Luckily not too many of them landed in the area since the stalactites take a while to mine out. So we've got a Nitra scanner, and the other ones aren't great either, so that'll help out a decent amount. Really need to look for the terrain damage on the flamethrowers now, and then the build will still be pretty cool. Got a level there, that's fine. Still three levels away from the very first flame turret upgrade though, so that might take a while. Yeah. That guy is bouncing all over the place. Objective completed. Excellent job. For the fourth weapon, I think I want just any turret, basically. If I get another drone weapon, then that will unlock drone upgrades, which I don't want here. Reload speed for that is helpful. So I can get either the shock fence or the seismic repulsors. The repulsor is pretty strong as a one level weapon just to add a bit of knockback. Scales well with reload and duration and stuff. I think there was some gold I left behind down here somewhere. Fortunately, still don't have any of the terrain damage yet. There we go. So, either of these would be good. That would give the shock debuff for extra crit chance. That is plasma. So, either of these will not unlock any damage type upgrades, so that's fine. 
Probably just take that for the knockback. Lifetime, huge upgrade there, sure. One of the best upgrades for any turret or duration based build. I don't think I'm really going to be putting levels into that though. And the level 18 is huge for the gun platform. Let's see if I can get some greedy XP real quick. Got a big damage there, that's fine. Upgrade. That's a no-brainer. Lifetime or that. Just I'll the lifetime it. is fine. Got some damage for the flamethrower. One level to look Ooh. for the terrain damage the there. Moving, XP probably won't really help much now. Turrets mine nearby wall, so we got that a little bit late. Can't really do much to this level with it, but there's still another three more levels to go to mine out a lot more nitro with it. Well done. I don't think I care about any of that stuff that much. I don't mind some armor. I'm taking some hits here. See what else we got. Damage is decent. I'm mainly just pushing these two weapons, and this really is my number one damage, so I think I might take that. This is my pick. Nothing for me here. Let's Luck. Try again. It's still fairly early, sure. And I guess I will take I that and that. Would have liked to have some more flamethrower turrets upgrades, but oh well. So the flamethrower turrets are quite good. They seem to hit multiple times a second and cut through it pretty quickly. I just need to get some more reload speed so I can get more of them down now. And if I could get the overclock to make them follow me as well, that would also be a pretty nice upgrade. That's fine. Relo or mining speed probably won't help that much now. Probably just grab some global reload speed, I suppose. So I should be able to get a decent amount more nitra and push the weapon levels at least now. Get ready. They'll be with you shortly. Boom, baby! Think you can kill me? Well, think again! Too much crap in the way. Supplies can't land. I want to get that pretty quick as well, since I could get another scanner here and then get a lot more value out of mining the stuff. So another Nitra scanner. Those aren't that great, so I guess I will take it. Got some pretty big damage there. I guess I will take that. That's three rarities higher than everything else here. The scanner just moved up like a Christmas tree. We got a swarm incoming. Well done. You got them all. So I'm at 46 nature right now, although there's a patch coming up. I need to see how much I have when I'm not really mining any of the patches and see how much it goes up over time. So I'm at 88 now. Got some reload there on the flamethrower is pretty nice. Getting a second flamethrower beam would also be a pretty good balanced overclock. Increase the area a decent amount. Ooh, that's all 
you got, you slippery shit! Oh, they're dead. That's unfortunate. My damage is getting a bit too high. Take the flamethrower level here. Reload. Eh, don't think I care that much on the seismics. Just keeping that as a one-point wonder for some knockback here. Lifetime is great. Get a little bit more nitra from mining this stuff out. Get yourself onto that drop part. It's about to head out. Guess I could be collecting some XP at the same time as well. Stage three done and dusted, miner. We'll Probably just get a bit of damage here. here. Reload is great for do. the flamethrower. I may as well give that since I have a ton of nitra, like some armor. Blasting is great. Reload is fantastic. I don't think I have any pickups, so I might get a little bit there. Unfortunately, I can't get lifetime now, so that was just a mistake. Damage is fine. Don't have that much left. We've got work to do and quotas to meet. You have your objectives. So one more on the flamethrower, and I'm hoping to get them to follow me around. I think that would be the ideal thing to mine out as much stuff as possible here. But plus one beam would also be fine. That looks like kind of a dead end over there. Boom, baby. Flamethrower, look for the second Need overclock it. here. Turrets follow you around is great. This is gonna change everything. It should massively improve the mining they can do for me now. Sorry, little bud. Your own fault for being full of good. Boom, baby! Think you could kill me? Well, think again! Reload is a pretty good yeah, stat for turrets. Big swarm is approaching. Yeah. <gasps> I kind of don't want the detonators to go off on the walls since that probably doesn't allow you to get nitro from it. Resupply prepared. Clear the landing zone of obstacles. Reload there is pretty good. Luck is not bad. Probably just take that at level 41. Swarm detected. Get got, ready. We'll be with you shortly. Think you could kill me? Well, think again. Reload on the flamethrower is great. Now if I could get one more Nitra scanner and then pickled Nitra on the fifth floor, that would be hilarious. Nope. No scanners, so I guess just the HP here. Flamethrower level or movement speed. I should probably take this because I will take Pickled Nitra if it's available on the 5th level, and then that's going to be extremely dangerous with how much Nitra I'm getting. You ugly son of a bitch. Take that. Here, Unfortunately, fight. those guys are dying very fast, and I'm nowhere close to finishing the Mushroom quest, so that's not going to happen. 
Get there before the timer runs out. Reload the there. Another four levels to get an unstable on the flamethrowers. Big damage on the Viper, but I don't think I care at this point. With no overclocks for it, it's probably not going to be that much. Reload for the flamethrower. Best stat I can get for that on the level up. Lifetime is great. Still four mushrooms away, so definitely not going to get that here. Two levels will help get the unstable. I should probably grab these for the damage. That's fine. More options. Reload is pretty good. This will get the unstable. Three charges. Out. Explode, leaving a puddle of fire. Sure. This, bugs. I don't have much nitro left. I can grab this and reroll really still. Nope. Try again. I can grab some fire rate or damage. I think fire rate and reload are the highest there, so probably go for damage. And out. a bit of movement speed is fine. The dreadnought will emerge when you destroy the small cocoons. And watch out for elites. Keep your cool, you will make it out just fine. Yeah, the mining's much better now, but it kind of took me a long time to get it online, so... The build could definitely be executed a bit better. Man, look at those plasma bounces. Would have been so sick if I got the mining on those. Your own fault for being full of goodies. Crawl back to hell! Bring it, Becker! I don't think any of that helps very much here. Same here. Fire rate there is fine. I barely go for this one. I popped the loop on. Let's get the middle. That guy just got destroyed. The plasma turrets look so cool with the unstable overclock making them fire so fast. So I would like to get pickled nitra here. It would be really risky, but it would also be really funny. We got too much clutter for the supply part to land. Do something. I should probably wait just to play it safe. The plasma turrets are kind of unfocused damage-wise. They just bounce all over the place. Reload is fine. They're great AoE, but not that strong single target. And I don't have much damage other than the plasma turrets. Fire rate, sure. Oh, yeah. I'm actually level 51, which is pretty low for the boss. Normally you end up around 60, but I was just killing the elites so fast that I couldn't really farm XP. That's active now, so I don't want to go next to that. Should probably swing back and collect all the XP I can. And there's also some nitra I missed from the walls being broken down by turrets. Should be a. Oh, he's about to die actually from just being dragged through the turrets. 
Almost killed him without a single charge going off. I didn't get pickled nitrate anyways. Now let's get some nitro with the three nitro scanners. Onto that drop part. It's about to head out. So that's going to be it for the mining out turret version. Unfortunately, I didn't get the mining on the gun platforms. That would have helped out a lot. I got it online on the flamethrower turrets a little bit late. So it mostly just ended up being a full plasma turret build, which is still pretty cool. Extremely fast fire rate and reload speed there. And also pretty good amount of lasting duration. Decent plasma, basically one weapon for damage. If you liked the video, tossing me a like or a subscribe would be greatly appreciated. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.